Hello, my friends. Thank you for joining me. This is the third time I'm shooting this video. I hope I can retain the, uh, my original intent. I like to do things on a first take. I believe in the spontaneity of what comes out naturally the first time, quite often. Anyway. Today is a special video, as you can see. You're staring at my collection of George Carlin DVDs. <laughs> I'm old school. Um, George Carlin is my favorite comedian. But more than a comedian, he was a philosopher and a prophet. And he was here to challenge us to think beyond our own meager experiences. And I could wax on about uh, my appreciation for Carlin, you know, a great deal. But uh, I wrote a little uh, poem in homage to George Carlin. I think I'm going to call it a poem for St. George or a poem for old St. George. I don't know. I'm not sure yet. I guess you'll know when you click on it. But I'm not sure what it is yet. Anyway. I'll read it now. Try and hold the camera steady, sorry. People love to destroy their better nature. Far too often, the best advice comes from a stranger. Don't look back more than twice, boy, your heart's in danger. They thought all the garden of suffering could grow was anger. What do they know? Greed like the back of their hand, perhaps. The joy of giving is something Americans don't appreciate enough. And some of you are downright just swearing it off. <laughs> Taking capitalism a little too far. Greed is not good. <laughs> I don't give a fuck what Gordon Gecko said. Like George Carlin said, the baby boomers embraced one simple philosophy in life. Give me it, it's mine! <clears throat> they went from love is all you need to whoever dies with the most toys wins. They went from cocaine to Rogaine. <laughs> Those are George Carlin quotes. And then and that makes me think of another quote from the rock star Marilyn Manson who said, We are your shit and you shouldn't be ashamed of what you have eaten. <laughs> and now here I am saying the same shit in every other video. Stop being fearful of what you don't understand. Let go of anger and try your best not to act on anger. Find compassion for all living things. Try to do your best to cause the least amount of suffering as you possibly can. Find joy in being kind. Find joy in compassion. We can be heroes, as the immortal David Bowie said. The fifth dimension will not support your darkness. Let it go. The division will dissolve because it was never really there in the first place. We are not now, nor have we ever been separate from God. God is within us. 
Pain sets us free from the divisions of illusions. Strip those illusions away and find freedom. You know, freedom of thought is something that they can never take from us. There's an old Zen saying, and I wish I could recall from which I uh, am drawing it from, but I, I have to go look it up. The saying is, if you want your cattle to be calm and docile and for them to live in harmony, give them the biggest field you possibly can to roam in. Fear is the root of all transgression and anger In order, you know, hate, you never yet dispelled hate. Only love dispels hate. This is the law, ancient and eternal, as Buddha said. So whatever anger you have in your heart for other people or other things, ultimately it's just you yourself that is bound by anger of that you have really directed unconsciously to your own self. It's a complete mind fuck. And I don't have the battery capacity or storage to sit here and, you know, go on endlessly about it in this video. But... So I'll just close there. Talk about these concepts perhaps later. Anyway, God bless George Carlin. He was the man. The balls on this guy. He was fucking legendary. If, uh, if you're not familiar with him, go on YouTube. Search George Carlin clips. Watch them all. Unfuck your mind. It'll do you some good. Alright. Check you later, gang.